my channel. Hi, how are ya? Can I do that? <laughs> Welcome to this week's project. Uh, I am so excited to share with you the step-by-step -step process we did to get to this. So we are actually covering in this video a very easy way to date a posh. This is actually a poster. So this is such a simple way to update a dresser like we did as with this easy version of how to date and polish. So I can't wait to show you that and take you step by step how we transformed this dresser into what you see here. So if you would like to join us on this journey and learn how you can do this, definitely follow along. So we're back at the beginning to what this piece looks like in its original condition. So it has definitely seen better days. There are there's some sort of strange mark here and a lot of wear at the bottom. And you'll notice there's lots of these little detailed carvings on the piece. So, and the original hardware is all intact. I'm hoping that I can reuse this hardware. I guess since you've already seen what the end result looks like, you'll know whether or not we did that or not. Uh, at this moment, I'm not sure. But I got this poster from Ikea and believe it or not, is on sale for $2. So I thought I can't go wrong with that. So the goal is, is to show you how you can easily decoupage something as thick as a poster using our ultra grip method that this is discussing in this video on the front of this dresser. But to start, I want to prep this dresser in order to show you how to do that. So first, I'm going to give it a good cleaning with TSP. So we've got that in this container. I'm gonna wash this all down. I'm gonna remove the hardware and then all of these little lines, because I'm putting the poster there, I don't want them to be seen or to be like where I can poke the poster and it rip. So what I'm going to do is I have some of this Elmer's wood filler, just put this at Home Depot, and I am going to take this and wood fill in all of those grooves. Uh, on this top dresser and all the way down here. So I will go where on to the next day. And what we did, as you can see, is we applied the wood filler to all of the grooves on the front of the piece. There were actually a couple of cracks on the veneer all the way down both sides. I guess I can turn this so you can kind of see it. Uh, so we added some of the wood filler to even that out as well on both sides. So now is the time when your piece is looking in their original condition to make any types of repairs uh, and little fixes that you may need. So again, this has dried because we did this yesterday. And in just feeling it, I can tell that there's still a little bit of a groove, but I'm going to give it a sanding just to see if it evens out a little bit. And if it doesn't, then I may have to apply a second coat of the wood filler. So I'm using just a palm sander. Uh, this is a Makita one, but any of them really work well. But I love the ones that don't rotate, uh, where this is just the palm sander. And we're using a 180 grit sandpaper on this. So again, if it roughens up the surface of the original finish, that's okay. It, uh, it just helps the pin stick better anyways. Okay, so that's how easy it is to just give it a wipe. So I'm just going to dust that down and get rid of that dust layer. It's actually not bad, but I can still feel, uh, and I don't want to see that behind the poster. Now, the poster is thick enough that it probably wouldn't notice it too much, but I do want to do it as correct as possible. So I am going to add a second coat of wood filler in all of these groups. So I'm going to continue to sand these down, add the wood filler, and then when they're dry, we will pop back on. So we'll see it again in a few minutes. So we applied a second coat of the wood filler uh, on all of the drawer fronts to really definitely hide uh, the detailing there. And again, we put it on the sides. So we're at the stage where we are going to sand this down. Yeah, see, now I can't feel where that ridge is whatsoever, which is exactly what we were looking for. So I'm just going to take a damp cloth with some water, just wipe the dust off. And now I just want to get the dust off of that. And then this piece, or this drawer, will be good for our pro paint. And that's what I'm going to do on all the drawer fronts. I'm actually going to paint them a really light gray color. 
because when I decoupage the poster on, I don't want to go with a really dark color where it will show through. The thickness of the poster may make it not matter anyway, but I'm going to pick just a really light gray color for the drawer front. But to coordinate with the navy blue uh, in this poster, I'm going to paint the edges and the body of the dresser in a navy blue called Midnight Blue. So that's what we're going to do next. So I am going to finish sanding these drawer fronts the sides. I'll probably give the whole piece just a light sanding since I have my palm sander out. Again, when you're working with this, you could do this with hand sandpaper. You don't have to have a palm sander, but they definitely make it easier. And then when I'm about to put the first coat of paint on, I will hop back on. So I'll see you again in a couple minutes. So we gave this piece a good sanding. As you can tell, it actually looks really bad. It's almost like it's got to get worse to get better. Uh, this actually has been washed down, uh, but the sanding just makes everything look almost dirty, but it's, it's actually not even dusty. It is actually clean. Uh, and we're going to apply a coat of our paint. So we're using the Fusion Mineral Paint, and I'm using a color called Lamp White. I just actually put it in a glass just to make it a little bit easier. And I'm using my two inch synthetic angled brush, also by Fusion, and it's my favorite brush. So I'm just gonna brush a coat of this on. It has such great coverage. Now I could use a microfiber roller for this too, uh, which would speed everything up a little bit. But I'm just going to use the brush because again, we are going to be decoupaging with a really easy method that I can't wait uh, to share with you guys. Uh, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, but I'm going to go over how it, an easy way to decoupage without getting any wrinkles. Super easy. So again, I'm just putting a coat on this so that nothing bleeds through the back of the poster. Probably not super necessary, but again, we do this here because uh, it will be available for sale. So we always try to do it the best possible way that we can. So that's how easy it is to apply a coat of paint to the one drawer. So I'll do the other drawer. Now for the body of the dresser, again, I'm gonna be painting it in Fusion Mineral Paint in a color Midnight Blue. So for a detailed list of all of the products I'm using, you can hit the drop down menu. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna finish painting up the front of these drawers and I do have to do the little spaces in between as well. They will all be covered in the poster. And then I will be painting the outside of this cabinet, same way I'm doing right now, but in midnight blue. So we will be back shortly. See you soon. Okay. So we finished painting this dresser uh, and obviously laid it down on its back. So we did just do the one coat of paint on the drawers. So it definitely looks a little blotchy, but again, we're putting that lovely and poster uh, on top of all the drawers, so that doesn't matter. I just wanted them to have somewhat of an even base coat. Then we painted the whole entire outside and the top in midnight blue, which I think is gonna coordinate nicely with the poster. And now we're on to the easy way to decoupage. So we are actually using uh, what's called Ultra Grip. This is by Fusion Mineral Paint. Again, I will have links in the comments below to all of these products. But this is a great product. This is actually acrylic resin, and that's the ingredient in paints and things that make it stick so well to thick furniture. So we're going to use this pure acrylic resin, again, called Ultra Grip. Now, sometimes I put this in a little cup. You know, when you're doing these videos and you're like, where are my little cups? I can't find it. Uh, so I'm just going to squeeze some of it onto this paper plate for a second. It's a little thick. So what you do in order to achieve this great decoupage trick is you are going to brush two coats of this on. And you, in between coats, you are going to let this dry. So you can easily see where you've gone, but again, it dries clear. So, and I'm putting white over top white. So I want to just put, brush two fairly liberal coats of this on. So this is not going to take very long to do. Now, one thing I want to tell you we did is when we laid this dresser down on the back, the drawers sunk in just a little bit. So we leveled those out with just clean paint sticks, uh, just so that they were pretty flat with the surface. So when we go to do the decoupaging uh, and laying the poster, we don't have the drawers sitting in further than the little cross pieces here. I'm just using a synthetic 
two inch brush, again by Fusion, but any uh, synthetic brush or even the foam brushes, they work well for this. So I'm gonna finish brushing this on all of the drawer fronts, including these little cross pieces here. I'm gonna let it dry, which is maybe a half an hour, and then I'm going to put a second coat on. And that's when I'm gonna pop back on here and show you how we are going to attach that to this. So we'll be right back. Hi everyone. So we did apply two coats of the Ultra Grip, letting them dry in between each coat. So it's dry now, so you can adjust and move any of your decoupage mediums uh, or items that you're gonna put on top easily around. So you don't have to worry about putting it on something liquid and then it getting wrinkly or tearing if you were doing something thin. Uh, why we're doing a poster is because that was one of the questions I got asked a lot after my very first decoupage video, which was seen by over 200,000 people on how an easy way to decoupage. So if you haven't watched that video, definitely, you know, want to watch that video. And I'm going to be doing part two, and this is actually kind of a sneak preview for you guys of what is in part two. But I wanted to try something thicker, like a poster because that's what I get asked all the time, is can you do a poster? Well, let's see. So I can lay this now right down on top of the drawers and line it up where I want it to go. Now it's longer than I need it to be, and there's a lot of negative space at the top, so that's the part I'm going to cut off. And yes, there'll be a little bit of drawer showing on either side. I'm not too worried about that because I can paint over that later. So what I do want to do, is move it up to the bottom of it. So this is the nice thing with this decoupage method is I have the ability to move my poster and it not being stuck down and I don't have to worry about it tearing. And I'm pretty happy with where that is. So this is how you decoupage with this. Now I'm going to take a piece of parchment paper. So parchment paper, not waxed paper because the wax, when we use our iron, is going to melt and that is the other thing you will need. You will want an iron, just a regular iron with no steam, so you don't need water in it, and you put this at medium heat. And I take my parchment paper, I lay it over my poster, and I iron it. And what is happening right now is the heat of the iron is reactivating the ultra grip on the bottom, causing this poster to become glued down. And that's what I mean how this has no wrinkles and it doesn't tear. I just, I am ironing it over all the drawers, over all of the little crossbars in between. A lot of people have asked me if you can do the same method with Mod Podge. I tried it with Mod Podge, it works but not as well. I found that it didn't stick as well with Mod Podge. So the Ultra Grip, I think it's because of the acrylic resin in it that just makes it stick the best. And this is a thick poster, so it works really well with fabric, especially thin fabric. Uh, napkins, I do this all the time with napkins and tissue paper. And now, again, with a poster. Okay, so that's pretty well stuck all down there. Now to get this edge, I am just going to take a very sharp exacto knife and push that down uh, as tight as I can get that so that I can trim it. Okay, we've got that removed. Now I'm just going to make sure I get the top part of that stuck down really well. It's your edges that you want to be careful to get really stuck down. hand over it. I want to see if I can feel any air bubbles that might have gotten underneath. Now I'm going to try to get this bottom piece. This one might be a little tougher. Oh, I'm going to go right to the bottom of the drawer. So I'm just going to open this up wide enough that I can go all the way through and I'm just literally following that line. This is between the drawer and the bottom frame. I was going to actually originally do it down all the way to here, so I just kind of did a little bit of a boo-boo, but nothing we can't fix. But see how stuck that is? <laughs> so we're going to have to scrape that off a little bit, and then I can fix this because I can actually paint that little piece blue, but in initially my mind, I was, I was needing to cut it down a little further. But again, 
already without me even trying to push it down that far, uh, it's stuck pretty good. So what I'm going to continue to do is I'm just gonna iron this a little bit more and then I'm gonna cut between all of the drawers just like I did there and then we will be right back. I wanted to pop back on here for a second. Uh, when we just paused the camera and I looked at it, because I inadvertently cut the poster too low down here, uh, now I feel like I need to remove the poster at the top at the same spot so that there will actually be a really nice border around the edge of this poster that's pretty well even all the way around. Why I wanted to hop back on is because Jackie who's behind the camera is like, well can you get that off easy because you just glued it? The answer is no. <laughs> to just show you how well this method works this is really stuck like i have to and again it's just been glued like and on the bottom it started tearing like again this method really works now we did just glue it so it's it is still warm so i definitely if you wanted to remove any of it like this maybe run the iron across it again to get the glue reactivated and then try to lift it up like this i think that's probably your best method but that's what we're going to do. We're actually going to cut uh, in between this one as well. So remember, there's no mistakes, just have a little accident. And that's just it. Sometimes, I mean, even us pros who've been doing this for years and years and years, we'll be like, oops, right? So you go with the flow. This piece clearly wanted a trim around all the drawers. So we're just going to listen to the dresser and go and do it then, right? So I have to clean this up a little bit. Um, I'm gonna have to add the iron to that edge, but um, we're gonna now paint, I don't know what color, maybe we'll do a different color around the whole edge of this to coordinate with the poster. So we're gonna have to clean that up. But the Ultra Grip was actually intended in the first place, it was created to make pieces of furniture that were difficult to paint possible, like melamine or plastic or glass. So I don't actually have to remove the Ultra Grip, I can paint right on top of it, but I do need to remove some of this paper. So. That's what we're going to do right now. So we'll be right back. So uh, there we go. So this sticks really, really well. I'm very happy with that. What I did is I trimmed uh, about three quarters of an inch all the way around the poster just to make it even with the uh, bottom edge that I kind of goofed on a little bit by removing the poster. But again, I actually think it looks better this way. So now what I need to do um, is paint this edge navy blue to match the rest of the dresser. So I am going to do that. I just wanted to stand it up to show you guys. <laughs> so uh, with the drawers out, I am going to take the parchment paper and the iron and give it another really good iron ironing because there's it's super flat this way without the little edges. With all the drawers out, I'm going to do that. And then we can actually put a clear coat on top of this paper and I am going to do that as well. Um, we are going to use our tough coat. You may have seen me do this before, but I'm just gonna put this clear uh, non-yellowing polyurethane. It's a wipe on poly. I'm just gonna brush it on or put it on with a rag. If this wrinkles the paper at all, I can actually lay the parchment paper back on top of that when it's dry and iron it again. I don't anticipate that happening with the poster because it's so thick. Um, but I probably will do a little bit of that on video. We'll see, but I just wanted to hop on and show you how this looks. I'm really liking it so okay. far. So I know I said that we would apply our tough coat on top of this and then come back. And then I kind of figured some of you may want to see exactly what I mean by that. So I thought I'm going to hop back on here and show you how easy it is to put the tough coat on. So that's again, our uh, fusion wipe on poly. So it comes in two different sheets. This is the um, satin sheet, it's kind of like a matte finish. And then we have a high gloss. So I'm gonna use the satin finish and I'm just squeezing some of this out into a little dish. And what I've done is I've taken a sponge. So this is a terry cloth covered sponge. Usually you can get these at hardware stores in the paint section, but a normal sponge would work or a microfiber cloth would work as well. And you want to, no matter what you use, run it under water so it's damp, wring it out. So I just have this kind of a lightly damp sponge right now. And I like to fold it so that I have a nice flat surface. And I'm just going to dip my sponge in there. I'll set this on top here. And this is how easy it is. I literally, it's called the wipe on poly. I just brush a couple swipes across. 
and that is going to seal in my poster. And that's as easy as that is. Now it does dry up fairly quickly. So if I feel like after it's dried that I might have missed an area, I can once it's dry, do this exact same step again. So I'm going to just keep doing this and then we'll be back. Ta-da! This is the end result. Uh, I have to say, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Uh, we kind of learned a little bit along the way. I'm just going to point out some of those things. Uh, as a recap, you know that um, I ended up cutting the poster a little bit shorter than I had planned to. And then after that, I realized it wasn't actually a boo-boo because I needed to cut the drawer there anyway. So I could have saved that piece. But, you know, like I said, all things happen for a reason. And I like the way we have this framed now. So I did go and give it a fresh coat of lamp white just to make it nice and even. And I did decide to change the hardware. At the beginning of the video, I said I wasn't sure if we were going to use the original hardware, but I think it just didn't look right with the little rings and stuff. So I added the new uh, hardware on there and we have sealed it. Uh, again, I think this is quite the transformation. And I hope that you understand or learned how easy it is that you can decoupage a full-size poster using our Ultra Grip onto a piece like this and totally transform it. So be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you see the next video, which again coming up soon is all about the new way of decoupaging. See you soon.